VZD, been around for about six years now. Our mission, our vision is a zero carbon Australia, uh, and our mission is to show how that's possible uh, through technical research across every sector of the economy. We started with work uh, about three years ago looking at stationary energy, released stationary energy plan, which shows how we can have a electricity grid in Australia powered by 100% renewable energy. We then released a buildings plan in August of last year, which shows how we can build and retrofit our existing housing stock and building stock to be zero emissions. And out of that work, we've just launched a new initiative called Energy Freedom, which I'll talk a little bit more about. We've also released a report on high-speed rail. We're doing work on electric vehicles. We're about to release a land use report, which shows how we can uh, move below zero um, through revegetation and, and other measures on the land. And we're also looking at Australia as a renewable energy superpower, which is our latest project, which we're hoping to release uh, late this year. So that's quite a technical, but also an economic piece. And look, I'll just touch on some of that work as I go, and feel free to ask me questions as I go along. So at BZD, we don't um, challenge the science. There's enough science out there, uh, enough scientists out there saying that climate change is happening. We just, we just accept that and get on with it. Um, and uh, we don't try and um, debate this. We just accept the science and say, well, this is happening. It's real. It's getting worse. Every IPCC report that comes out just um, confirms that. Uh, and in fact says that with more certainty this is happening and it's catastrophic. Uh, it's, it's real, it's pretty scary and uh, we better get on and implement some solutions and uh, address this problem in a real way. So as I mentioned we started um, this work a number of years ago starting with energy. Energy as you all know underpins uh, a lot of the economic activities uh, in Australia and around the world. So if you get the energy system right, then it underpins transport, it underpins buildings, it underpins a whole range of other things in the economy. And as you all know, I'm sure uh, emissions from stationary energy account for over 55% of Australia's emissions. So a really important sector to address first. And if you get an energy sector based on renewable energy, then it means you can have high-speed rail, which uh, is powered by 100% renewable energy. You can have electric vehicles, which are powered by 100% renewable energy, rather than uh, just the tailpipe emissions or lack of tailpipe emissions being clean uh, and the upstream emissions still coming from coal. We'd like to see a system where we've got 100% renewable energy, so when you plug your car in, you're actually getting renewable energy that's charging the car. Then, applause already, wow. Um, <laughs> Then obviously out of that falls the buildings um, plan, which as I mentioned was released in August. Um, transport, focusing on high speed rail and electric vehicles. The transport um, plan is quite complicated. We want to do more work on uh, urban design and public transport as well, but we started with high speed rail and that report was released back in April. By the way, for those of you on Google Land or YouTube, uh, we're still uh, planning a number of launches of that high-speed rail project, aiming for a Brisbane launch in September, for those of you who might be up in sunny Queensland. Then we've got land use, pretty controversial sector, land use. You know, it's about what we do on the land, it's about what we grow, it's about what we eat, and that land use report is being finalised, it's being desktop published as we speak and range from the launch of that report probably in late September. Um, and we're hoping to do that through a series of discussions with farmers, landholders, catchment management authorities, land care groups, uh, and really have that as a good discussion in regional areas as well as in um, capital cities around Australia. Um, we started work on our renewable energy superpower project, as I mentioned. That's a pretty, um, pretty challenging piece of work. It shows how we can uh, export renewable energy, but also rebuild our economy to be running off renewable energy um, and uh, showing that clean tech and renewables and energy efficiency and electric vehicles and high-speed rail present real economic opportunities for Australia uh, to rebuild our, um, our economy. As, as, the, uh, as you were saying or someone was saying in the audience, 
you know, a, a real opportunity with the decline of the existing uh, auto sector in Australia to reshape that and build electric vehicles and sell those and sell them overseas. So it's a pretty exciting project. One we haven't started yet is the industrial processes piece, which will look at how we can make cement, steel, aluminium, etc., uh, etc., etc., et plastics, plastics and chemicals uh, without needing fossil fuels. Um, and uh, we're currently building a team of volunteers to, to start work on that project. Yeah, do you have any links or anything like that? Or is there anybody taking care of that sort of work? So that'll be BZE. So BZE undertakes all of this work, but we do work a lot with universities. Uh, we've got a partnership with Melbourne University, a partnership with the University of New South Wales, and we rely on the expertise of those academics as well. Volunteers at the IT that's right. We have interns from the universities. We have volunteers. We often put ad, 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 we often advertise on our website for volunteers to join our research teams. An example is a superpower project. We've got ten volunteers uh, around Australia who Skype in and Google Hangout, just like we're doing today. Yeah. Would uh, plastics still be using oil and feedstock, or uh, removal? <laughs> yeah. Look, we want to move away from uh, you know petrochemicals. Uh, Entirely, and so we'd be looking at how we can replace plastic with other, um, you know, other other ways, you know, other products, rather than relying on the petrochemical industry. So that'll be that'll be a really challenging piece of work. And if you're interested in that, please don't hesitate to come up to me and ask afterwards because I am literally in that space now of, of um, building that team. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah. Like this, this. What we're thinking about is with that with that report is having a series of case studies. You know, so a case study on uh, plastics and chemicals, a case study on aluminium, a case study on uh, steel, uh, and so the list goes on. And recycling as well. Yeah, potentially. Yeah. Um, these are our three reports. Um, you can access them online on our website bze.org.au. Uh, you can download them for free. We've actually just launched this week an online shop, uh, which means if you do want a hard copy, we're selling those through our online shop on the website. So um, um, yeah, qu quite exciting. And as I said, there's plenty more reports uh, on their way. This is the.